Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did a full face using drugstore makeup. The only thing I didn't use drugstore were the brushes, but they're from Morphe, and I feel like Morphe brush prices are really comparable to ones at the drugstore, if not cheaper for some of them. By the way, I decided to change my background, so right now you see the back of my room and like my closet, which really isn't that appealing. I like the color of my wall because the wall that my vanity is against is blue, and the rest of the walls in my room are gray, which I like better. I feel like they have a better background, and then, I don't know, I just feel like my vanity lighting gives me me better lighting than like my ring light it comes out softer and it doesn't look as harsh so I decided to face my vanity while I record so you guys can't see it and just have this background but anyways today I filmed this look it's just like a really neutral smoky eye so if you guys want to see how I got this look using only drugstore makeup then just keep watching okay so for my eyebrows I'm gonna use this Milani stay put brow color this is in the color 05 dark brown typically I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow which is like my ride or die it's my absolute favorite so I'm gonna do my eyebrows with this and then I'll be right back to do my face. Okay, so I did my eyebrows off camera with this Milani eyebrow stuff. It wasn't that bad. I just feel like it was really thick and heavy. I had to keep spooling my eyebrows out. I mean, they came out okay. They look like they usually do. But I mean, if you don't want to go spend $18 on the dip brow by Anastasia, I would get this. I think it was like $10, but then again, it's like, it's an $8 difference and I feel like you get a better product and I even think you get more product when you get the Anastasia. So that's just my preference. To carve out my eyebrows, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Porcelain like I always do. This is a drugstore product. I think you can get it at Ulta now. I usually get mine from like a China shop, but I do think they have them at Ulta now. They're just a couple dollars. And then I use the Morphe M432 to carve everything out like I usually do. But for face primer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin. I use this one anyway. It's one of my favorite primers ever. I don't have a mattifying primer from the drugstore that I like. I feel like they've all broken me out every time I've tried to use them, but I do use this Maybelline one a lot. I'm just gonna press it in with my fingers like I always do. Okay, so I usually don't get breakouts except for when it's that time of the month, which obviously it is because I have this giant ass pimple right here. So I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is all from the drugstore once again, and this is in the color green. It's just a corrector. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that over it just to cancel out the redness. It's super red and inflamed. I don't know why because I haven't been touching it, but super red so i'm just gonna put that on there and then blend it out with my beauty blender by the way i know that a beauty blender is not drugstore i do have the real technique sponges that i like to use they work exactly the same mine's just really dirty right now and i didn't want to wash it and to be honest my beauty blender is dirty too but my sponge from real techniques is more dirty so i decided to use this okay so for foundation i'm gonna use the nyx total control drops in the color beige i have super oily skin but ever since i started using this nyx foundation my face stays completely matte all day long i don't even know if they're meant to be matte or mattifying i don't have the box anymore i don't remember what the claim said so i'm just gonna take these drops put them on my face and then blend them out with a damp beauty blender this found the NYX box that came with that foundation. I'm just going to read what it says really quick. Uh, one to two drops is light coverage, three is medium, and then four or more is full. But also too, you want to make sure you shake it really well because if you don't, it's like super, super liquidy. So my favorite under eye concealer from the drugstore is the Maybelline Fit Me. I use the color 20 Sand. I actually use this on a lot of my clients. It's super, super full coverage. It's not too drying. It's kind of creamy, but it's not too hydrating. But I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes, down the center of my nose, my forehead, and blend it out with a damn beauty blender. Okay, so to set my under eyes, I always, always, always bake. Um, the only drugstore powder that I like that's loose and translucent that I could use to bake is the Cody Airspun, but I'm actually out of it right now. So instead, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the color Caramel Toffee. I'm going to take this banana shade and I'm going to put this on a Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to set my under eyes with it. Uh, one. 
Now days that they don't have a story, they gon' make one. So to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the color 220 Natural Beige. I'm gonna take this on a Morphe E1, and I'm just gonna press that all over my face. I used to use this powder in like 8th or 9th grade, and it used to be my all-time favorite. It keeps my face super matte throughout the day. So if you guys are looking for a good drugstore powder to set your face, I would totally recommend them. Yeah, what y'all wanna do? Open the dick in the Taurus, spaghetti, fettuccine, a bill, but still. Okay, so before I do the rest of my face, I want to do my eyes just so I can base my blush and bronzer off the eye look that I do. The only drugstore eyeshadow that I have is the Maybelline Nudes palette, and I've had this for a couple years and I've never used it. So for the transition color, I'm going to take this color right here, kind of like a light taupey brown color. So I'm going to take that on a Morphe M504, and I'm going to blend this back and forth into my crease. Okay, so so far this color is blending really nicely. I don't remember using this palette. If I did, it was like years ago when it first came out. But I'm kind of shocked by the pigmentation. It's blending super nicely and it's pretty pigmented. So sorry if you can hear my music. I like to play music while I'm doing my makeup. I don't know if anybody finds it distracting, but personally I love to have music on in the background while I'm doing my makeup. I can't do it without it, so I'm just going to leave it on in the background. If it's too loud, I guess let me know in the comments, but I don't think I'm going to change it. So, Okay, so for the next color, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a dark chocolate brown. I'm going to take this on a Morphe M433 and I'm going to put that a little bit lower in the crease and focus it more towards my outer corners. Okay, so that's already a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. These eyeshadows really aren't bad. If you don't have the money to go buy a super expensive palette or you just don't want to, I would definitely recommend them. They're blending super easily. They're super pigmented. I really like them. I don't know why I haven't used them before. Let the world listen if the haters cry Slip in the money cause stay tight Come on back right here Okay, so now I'm gonna take the black from that palette It's this one right here I'm gonna first pack this on my eye with this little detail brush. It doesn't have a name. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the Morphe E18. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up the color on my brush and it doesn't look like anything's coming off. I don't expect this black to be super pigmented. Honestly, it's really hard to make black eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna pack it like right here on my outer corner. Okay, that's super fucking pigmented, Never mind. So I'm just gonna pack it on my outer corner and then I'm gonna start blending it out with the Morphe E18. <laughs> So I'm gonna grab this color right here, this shimmery color. I'm gonna put this on a detail brush and I'm gonna dip into it and then spray the brush with some Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone and put it on the inner corner. <laughs> For lashes, I literally use these every single day of my life. These are the Ardell number 600 lashes. I just use them with the green duo glue, I think. Yeah, I use them with the green duo glue. I literally use these lashes every single day of my life. They are my favorite drugstore lashes ever. Anyway, so I'm going to put my glue on these, and while that's drying, I'm going to start on my lower lash line. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to take the same color that we put into our crease as a transition color. I'm going to take this on this little tart brush that I used last time. It came with the Graveyard Girl Times Tart Palette. Um, I don't know if you can buy it by itself, but I really like to use it to do my lower lash line. So just DNA, born Okay, so for the next color, I'm going to take that second color that we put into the crease, the dark chocolate brown. I'm just going to put that onto this little detail brush. This is from Coastal Scents. It doesn't have a name, but it is a drugstore price because Coastal Scents has really, really affordable brushes. So I'm just going to put this a little bit closer to my lash line now. Okay, so just so the look is a little bit more soft, so to speak, even though this is like a full-ass eyeshadow look, I'm not going to put any black onto my lower lash line and I'm not going to put any black in my waterline. I'm just going to go straight in back with my Lash Sensational Mascara, put that on my lower lashes, and then I'm going to pop on my falsies and then I'll be right back to finish my face and my lips. So for bronzer, which is my favorite part of doing my makeup, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Bronzer, and this is in the color Deep Tan. I'm going to use this crown brush. I think I got this in like an Ipsy a super long time ago when I used to get Ipsy, but I know that crown brushes are really inexpensive. It's kind of like a stippling brush, so 
I'm gonna put this on my face with that and mine's cracked so I have to be really careful but I'm just gonna bronze my cheeks and like around my forehead like I usually do blush I'm gonna take this wet wild blush in the color pearlescent pink and then I'm gonna take that on my morphe e4 I love these wet and wild color icon blushes they are super crazy like ridiculously pigmented so I'm just gonna take that on the morphe e4 and put that on my cheekbones like I usually would okay so for highlight I'm gonna use the wet and wild mega glow highlighter this is in the color crown of my canopy I'm gonna take this on a morphe m501 and just like I do with all my other highlighters I'm gonna dip in to it and then I'm gonna grab their wet and wild spray and just spray the brush so that it comes out more intense and wet and I'm gonna put this on my cheekbones down the center of my nose a little bit like above my eyebrows and then on my chin a tiny bit Okay, so then I'm just going to take that same Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray and spray the rest of my face so that it doesn't look powdery or cakey like I do every time I do my makeup. So for lips, I'm going to take the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color 5 Nude Thrill. This feels like summer. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. It's nothing crazy. I mean, it's just like a nice smoky eye if you're going out to like dinner or a party with your friends or you have some place to be and you want to look nice or if you're weird like me and you're going to sit in your room and watch YouTube videos all night. So yeah, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have your makeup come out nice. I don't think anything that I used was over like $10. So if you don't have a lot of money, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on makeup, there are drugstore products that are just as good as high-end. just have to make sure that you play around with them and find what fits your skin the best, what you like to work with the best. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.